Trafficking is a part of modern slavery. There are four main stages in the trafficking process. The first stage is called the targeting stage. That's when a child or young person is watched, chosen and approached. Sorry. No, I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. No, it's, it's not. Um, what were you drinking? Just a Coke. Okay, so vodka and Coke? <laughs> Alright, come on. Uh, Coke for this one? I'm Joel, by the way. And you are? Kayla. Kayla. It's a nice name. Thank you. Young people are yeah, vulnerable I'm, and I'm easy sorry, targets for traffickers. The third person I bumped in today. This is where the predator gains the trust of the victim, generally by being charming. They give them compliments. The second stage is called the friendship forming stage. They spend a lot of time with them making them feel special, perhaps by giving them gifts. They usually test out physical contact at this stage by touching the target to see how they react. Close your eyes. They make them feel safe, protected. Shots, please. The third stage is when the predator has earned the trust of its victim and has probably already established a relationship with them, often of a sexual as well as of an emotional kind. This stage is called the loving relationship stage. Don't worry. This will help you relax. At this stage, the predator would typically engage in and force the victim to partaking activities which are forbidden to them, such as clubbing, drinking and drug taking. And finally, we have the fourth stage. This is when the relationship has become abusive. Because of the gradual behaviour change in the predator, the victim doesn't realise what's happening until they reach a point where they are unable to fight back or leave. This stage is called the abusive relationship stage.
Victims are threatened and treated with violence and they're usually forced into sexual encounters with other people, often in exchange for money. Sometimes, tragically, they don't make it to that stage. The extreme violence and heartache they suffer result in physical and mental harm, and sometimes murder. At times, they are so desperate to escape the ordeal that they end up killing themselves. On the whole, you did really well on this Tim's project, particularly Kayla. Has anybody seen Kayla? 